going on YouTube fam it's your boy Rob DJ Bill back with another fragrance review and I'm picking back up where I left off uh, this is vintage where I touch on vintage fragrances and kind of give my take and recommendations um, what kind of brought this about what brought it back for me was I went out and I uh, smelled Tom Ford's Anthracite and it's basically like a Sheepra fragrance it's um, if you don't know what a Sheepra is it's kind of like it's got like a woody oak mossy a um, little bit of bergamot chewy type vibe and it'll have other you know scents or notes in it but that's kind of you know it's basic profile and I felt like anthracite was really, was really peppery, it was really earthy, uh, but the earthiness was a little overpowering uh, for me, so I didn't really care for it that much, but as I smelled it, I was like, hmm, this kind of smells like something uh, that I know, but I couldn't put my finger on it, and then it came to me, it smells like it's classic. For those that don't know, this is Vigeon for men. This is the original, well, maybe not the original formulation, but an earlier formulation of the fragrance. And it is not really a sheep, but it's actually categorized as a, um, like an oriental fougere. I don't know if I necessarily agree. I think it's kind of more of a green sheep, but, um, but you know, I'm not going to split hairs over it. I'm not an expert. Uh, I don't claim to be. But I think that this is a, could be a great alternative to that fragrance. So hear me out. If you check the reviews on Fragranica, you will see that um, you can find it now. A lot of discount stores, 12 bucks, 15 bucks, 20 bucks, you know, and performance and depth on the fragrance now is weak. There's no depth. It kind of smells generic now. I can tell you that's not the way it smelled back in the day. I got up on the fragrance in the late 80s. I want to say I purchased it for myself in 90. This was not a cheap fragrance. This fragrance back in the day was the most expensive designer fragrance in the store that I would go to. Hands down, there was no other fragrance more expensive. It was 65 bucks. Now you might scoff at that and laugh and say 65 bucks is nothing. 89, 90, 65 bucks for a fragrance was, was a nice amount of money to spend. So let me tell you about the fragrance. Um, Be drawn from there. It's got this honey note, but it's not really sweet. It's got the essence of honey. Uh, it's got the oak moss, of course. It's got a pepperiness. It's got musk. Uh, it's got vetiver. Um, Chewy. It's got um, when it gets into the dry down, it kind of has like a kind of a barbershop feel, but not quite. So that's why I kind of get the fougere, but it, it's not quite that. It's different. It's got a nice vibe. It's more of a formal smelling fragrance, in my opinion. I always thought about it back in the day as a dressy fragrance. Um, I always felt like you had to be dressed up to wear it. I don't think the same way now. I think you can rock it you know, multiple ways, uh, but it's a really nice, upscale smelling fragrance, incredible performance, going back to the earlier formulations, now it's not, you spray it a couple hours later, you can't smell it, that is not the original older formulation, this fragrance was beast mode, two sprays, all you needed, you were good, three sprays, borderline, too much. Um, but I loved it. I rocked it for years, and it was just it, it was a it was a dress to impress fragrance. Basically, that was part of my you know wardrobe when I was trying to impress somebody, or it was like upscale. I put that fragrance on. So now a twist. The twist with that is that I would say if you can find an original formulation bottle or older formulation bottle of this fragrance, I highly, highly recommend you get that. 
Don't go for a new one. Don't pick it up at Ross or TJ Maxx or Marshalls or another discounter. Try to find an old bottle of this fragrance, the older formulation. This is how you know you're getting the older formulation on it, okay? So check it out. This is the box. This is the back of the box. The original box was like this. It opened like that. It was almost like a sports coat. Like one thing on the outside and another pattern, kind of busy pattern on the inside. Opened up. The fragrance sat inside of this box. Alright. I don't believe it's like that currently, but that's the way it was. Another thing to no fragrance was distributed by I don't know if my camera's gonna be able to pick that up it's not gonna refocus but it's uh, distributed by Bijon Fragrances Incorporated Beverly Hills so that's another telltale sign that whatever the parent company is today that's not the one you want it's got to say distributed by Bijon Fragrances Incorporated Beverly Hills now this is the twist challenge you to not only get Bijon for men but also get Bijon for women and this is what the women's bottle looks like all right this is what the men's bottle looks like this is the women's this is the men's in today's world of fragrance a man could rock this um, kind of got the same profile but it's softened it's softened up um, I've heard somebody say it kind of smells like dial soap I, that's fair I it's got it's got a lot more depth than that it's got a lot more going on besides that uh, but I guess if you want to say it, if you have to say it smells kind of like something kind of has a soapy vibe to it but it's still a clean vibe this is a dope fragrance it was a young lady that I went to college with this was a signature scent she rocked this 24 7 and whenever she was in the room you knew she was there when you went to a place and you smelled that smell you knew she was either there or she had been there so I'm saying try to get both of these and layer them not spray one on top of the other but maybe hit this on your chest hit this on your neck rock them together tell me what you think I think you'll have a straight up winner same thing applies to this fragrance it's got to say the same thing on the box the woman's box instead of it being black with white letters it's white with black letters so keep that in mind so this is my vintage fragrance check this out great alternative I think to anthracite or just a great vintage fragrance to have in the arsenal uh, I recommend this one alright so thank you guys for watching uh, don't forget to like comment subscribe later